So are you ready to talk about put and keep? So on page 47, let's take a look at the language focus just before activity 16. We're talking about these two words, put and keep. To put means to put something in a place. You put something in a place. And to keep means to always have something in a specific place. So we have a couple of examples like this. Betsy puts the milk on the table at breakfast. At breakfast means at breakfast time, when it's time to have breakfast. She takes the milk from the refrigerator. Let's say here's my refrigerator. I open the refrigerator and I take the milk out and then I put the milk on the table. So that's the action. Betsy puts the milk on the table at breakfast. But not all day, right? Only at breakfast time. Put the matches in a safe place. Let's say that these are matches. And these matches are on the table. Don't leave them on the table. Put them in a safe place, like uh, someplace up very high, away from the children. Or put them in a locked cabinet. Don't leave them on the table. Now, what do we usually do with milk? Do we always put it on the table? No, because it will spoil. It will go bad. So we, when we finish it, we keep the milk in the refrigerator. We keep the milk there for a long time. Usually, we keep the milk in the refrigerator. We only take the milk out when we want to pour some and drink it. Keep the matches in a safe place. That means take them, put them in a safe place, and leave them there for a long time. When you leave them there for a long time, then you can use the word keep. <coughs> then you can use the word keep. Okay? Got the idea? All right. Now we're going to hear the next dialogue about using put and keep. So we'll hear the conversation model. Activity 16, using put and keep. Conversation model. Betsy and her parents continue talking about safety. Read the conversation and underline, underline put and keep. You keep the bleach in the cabinet under the sink. That's not safe. I can put it in the garage in a high cabinet. Yes, please keep it there. Okay, so Betsy and Grandma are talking about where to keep something if it's you need to keep it away from the children. Let's practice. You keep the bleach. Mm -hmm. You keep the bleach in the cabinet under the sink. That's not safe. You keep the bleach in the cabinet under the sink. That's not safe. I can put it in the garage in a high cabinet. I can put it in the garage in a high cabinet. Yes, please keep it there. Yes, please keep it there. All right, let's role play. I'll be Betsy, and you'll be Grandma. Okay. You keep the bleach in the cabinet under the sink. That's not safe. Yes, please keep it there. Please keep it there. That means keep it there for a long time. Okay, now you're Betsy. And you talk to me. And I'm older, so be nice. Oh, I can put it in the garage in a high cabinet. Okay, I'll
I'll do that. All right, now let's look at activity 17, using put or keep. And so we want to complete the sentences with one of these verbs. Remember, put is just put it one time, and keep means keep it for a long time, okay? So we need to pay attention to the verb put and keep, the two verbs here. So what do you put for number one? What do you write for number one? I put the diapers on the changing table this morning. That's what I have too. That's good. What do you have for number two? Always keep a toddler strapped in his high chair while he is eating. Good. What do you have for number three? Put a rubber bath mat in the bathtub before you bathe a child. Good. What do you have for number four? Kevin likes to keep a stuffed animal with him most of the time. You keep something most of the time. Number five. Where did you put the sippy cup? Where did you put the sippy cup? I can't find it. Yeah. How about number six? I put diaper rash cream on my baby as soon as he gets a rash. What do you have for number seven? Keep cleaning products out of reach of children. And number eight? Put medicine in a locked cabinet after every time you use it. So this one is to put it after you use it. This is just the action to put it there after you use it. If you say keep, you can make a different sentence. You can say keep medicine in a locked cabinet, period. But put it back in the cabinet after you use it, after each time you use it, okay? So put means just for one action, and keep means for a longer time.